All right, for homework, um, this builds off of the skill that we've done before. So um, it's really comparing fractions. Uh, I, Mrs. Lackey, biked three-fourths of a mile, and Van, my son, biked two-thirds of a mile. So who biked a greater distance? Okay, so we've got three-fourths and two-thirds. So really, we're kind of like comparing three-fourths and two-thirds and seeing which one is greater. So if it's less than, it goes that way, remember? Kind of like an L. If it's greater than, it goes that way. And then, or it could potentially be equal to. Okay, so that's really what we're doing. Now, one way that we've learned to do this is by drawing a model, but the tricky piece is that the model needs to be the exact same size. You have to be really careful. So three-fourths, so uh, I'll put three-fourths in this part of the model and two-thirds here. So three-fourths, I'm going to cut it into four equal spots, and I'm going to say it's one, two, three out of four, and this one's going to be thirds, so one, two, one, two, two-thirds. Now, my problem with just using a model is that, geez louise, these look really close. So I'm still wondering, wait, are they equal? But Or is this one a little bigger? I'm not sure. Let me try a number one. Again, number one, they have to be the exact same size. So three-fourths. So again, I'm going to break it into fourths. So I've got one, two, three-fourths here. You can put a point if you want. And this is going to be thirds. So one, two, three. Okay, and so this would be two out of three. So two thirds. So again, they look so stinking close. So what we did, so this is using a model, and this is using a number line, both of which are great strategies. But as I shared in class, my problem with these strategies is sometimes it could be tricky. It looks like maybe three-fourths is slightly bigger, like the slightest bit, but they, very, they look very close to equal. So what we've talked about in class is can we find a new denominator that to make this one and to make this one the same. So we used the chance. Same denominator, find the multiples. Same denominator, find the multiples. Same denominator, find the multiples. What kind of multiples? Least common multiples. So multiples are just a fancy word for, here, I'll draw it up here. Multiples are a fancy word for skip counting, okay? So we're skip counting. So let's skip count by four. We get four, eight, 12. Let's skip count by our, so we're finding a new denominator. So we're skip counting by that denominator. Let's skip count by three. Three, six, nine, twelve. Same denominator, find the multiples. All right, I did multiples. What kind of multiples? Least common multiple. The smallest one they have in common. Twelve. So I can make this a twelve and this a twelve. Now, to make, to make that number, this denominator, into a twelve, I have to give it a gift. What do you give a 4 to get to a 12? 4 times 1, 2, 3. Give the same gift to the top to make an equivalent or equal fraction. 3 times 3 is 9. So instead of 3 fourths, let's call that 9 twelfths. So instead of saying Mrs. Lackey biked 3 fourths, Mrs. Lackey biked 9 twelfths. Okay, let's see how many twelfths this would be that Van did. 3 to get to 12. 3 times 1, 2, 3, 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Do the same thing to make it equivalent or equal. I have a fraction. I'm just making an equal fraction. 2 times 4 is 8. So 8 twelfths is the same darn thing than 2 thirds. The only reason I want to use 8 twelfths is because it's easy to compare to that. So Van, instead of saying he biked 2 thirds, let's say he biked 8 twelfths. 8 twelfths and 9 twelfths. Which one's bigger? 9 twelfths is bigger. So Mrs. Lackey biked more. But can you see that they're very similar? And that's why our model and number line showed a lot of similarity. So 
nine twelfths. The, we say that crocodile eats the bigger number, or the alligator eats the bigger number. It is eating that number, and if I read this as a nine, number sentence, nine twelfths is greater than eight twelfths, or read it with your original numbers. Three fourths is greater than two thirds. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow. Good job with your homework.